Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Solomon Jagwe and this time I'm back with a, another tutorial, this time to show you how you can sculpt in ZBrush, right? This is ZBrush on my PC and sculpt on your iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil uh, connected via USB cable to my machine right here. That's the PC machine that I'm using. And so what you need first is to go to easy canvas easy and light dot com and click on products and it will bring you down to the PC download they also have a Mac version and so the idea again is to have this model reflected on this screen right now so the once you download the PC version right onto your computer and you install it it's gonna show up on the taskbar as easy canvas right here so it's, it shows that easy canvas is running right and then you have to go to your iPad Pro go to the App Store and do a search for easy canvas and then install it so they will give you a trial version that you can test and I think it's enough time for you to decide if you want to purchase it or not and when you're ready to purchase it then you can do it so when you're done it will show up on your iPad Pro as an icon here, Easy Canvas. So tap on Easy Canvas. It's going to go through and it's going to detect as if you're connected. So you make sure you're plugged into your, your, uh, your, your iPad Pro is plugged into your machine, right? Uh, so far, I mean, at, at this point, at the recording of this video, I've not seen a wireless version. So it's not, not like a tablet, uh, sorry, I was going to say tablet Pro. Uh, but not tablet pro but that uh, duet the duet plugin uh, the app that you can connect uh, using uh, your machine your pc to your ipad pro so this is easy canvas this is not this is not duet okay so now that you we have zbrush running and as you can see we actually have it running here on the ipad pro as well and make sure your uh, apple pencil is paired and as you can see now you can actually manipulate it right and you can use the zoom feature to zoom in and out right so there are some other things that you need to do to get it working properly and on the ipad pro there are these uh, icons up in the top corner so you can tap on that and the little uh, it menu will dock to the left or to the right if you don't like that you can just bring it back and you can also access additional menus over here right and when you're done uh, right now we're using Apple if you had like the Wacom you would use the Wacom but right now we're using Apple Pencil and it will show up right so it's just a uh, dock it sorry minimize it and dock it so I like putting I like to put it on the right hand side because I'm right handed so if you're left handed you can put it on the left hand side so the reason I have left this space here, I want to be able to dock uh, the Tablet Pro pl uh, program on the left-hand side of uh, my iPad Pro so I, I can have control over this shift control in the smooth function for in ZBrush. So let me go ahead and click on Tablet Pro. So on my desktop, you can see it here. It has shown up, right? And you can also see it here. So when I'm using my thumb here, is when I need to do like a, a smooth, I just again press shift one time and I'm able to use the Apple Pencil to stream. Sorry about the noise in the background. <laughs> that be taking out the trash. So anyway guys that is the an easy rather rather a quick tutorial on how to get easy canvas working right and um, I'm gonna zoom in so we can do a quick sculpt so I have dumb standard here right I know we don't need that so as you can see I'm able to sculpt so let me add some detail here Guys, and I'm doing this, guys, on the iPad Pro. That is what's really cool. 
So if I want to add some detail, like right here, That is the beauty of having your Apple Pencil work well in ZBrush using Easy Canvas. And I think what I've noticed is that uh, Easy Canvas seems to have a better refresh uh, responsiveness than Duet. So I do highly recommend that you guys uh, check, try out uh, Easy Canvas uh, for connecting your iPad Pro uh, to your desktop so that you can sculpt in ZBrush and have the beauty of uh, using the Apple Pencil to sculpt away. And this uh, this is, I mean, something, this, what you see right here, I sculpted this using my iPad Pro from the very beginning. So it, you can do detailed work uh, using uh, Easy Canvas iPad Pro in Tablet Pro on the left-hand side to be able to do the smooth function. So uh, you've, uh, the, in the other videos on my YouTube channel, you can see some of the process that I've gone through. So that, those are a little bit longer. So this is just intended to be a quick uh, tutorial so that you, you can get started and using uh, Easy Canvas. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on uh, my YouTube channel. I welcome questions. And uh, if you're using Easy Canvas, please let me know how you, you're faring on your end. But uh, again, I think someone had mentioned that is this better than the Cintiq? And I'm like, uh, it doesn't, I mean, if you own a Cintiq, then you really don't need to use the iPad Pro. But if you happen to have an iPad Pro and you don't have a Cintiq, then this is a good uh, option for you to sculpt in ZBrush to get that kind of quality using an Apple Pencil on your iPad Pro. And again, just need to go to Easy and Light, download the PC version, install it. It will show up on your taskbar make sure you go through with the scaling the interface so you have some room on the right hand side and also install tablet pro so you can actually use it here so to you for example to smooth you just tap one time uh, and then it of course it went to <laughs> auto save but anyway that's all you need to do is it, once you see change color that means it's uh, selected and uh let's wait for this to i wish it hadn't done that but it's doing auto save <laughs> right now but anyway that's what that's the process that i go through guys uh, for me to use uh, my ipad pro to sculpt in zbrush and for you uh, i encourage you to give it a chance and if you're not happy with it don't use it but if you really um, have an ipad pro and you use it for other things uh, this is one more uh, thing that you could actually use in your workflow for sculpting thank you so much don't forget to subscribe uh, see you next time